Hi guys, it's the Queen. It's my Talk to Me Tuesday for July 2nd, 2019. I swear, time is going by way too fast. I can't believe it's already July and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where the time has gone. I have been busy with daycare. I know I mentioned before that with school being out, daycare hours are very busy during the summer. So I have been doing most of my crafting as daycare related items. I did make a Faithwell storage bin. I didn't take a video of the storage bin. My plan was to make three of them as a nesting set, but as usual, plans and fall through. I ended up not having enough of my SF-101 uh, interfacing. I have that huge roll of the, the foam, so I was well prepared with that, but I don't even know how I lost track of the amount that I had. Anyway, I'm going to put a video in showing the peg people that I've been working on. Welcome to the world of peg people. So far, this is just 40 of the 60 that I had started painting a couple of weeks ago. A lot of them have been clothed without the details, and some just have the face, hair, and the eyes. I tried to have a few different hair colors. So far, I just have the reddish, the brownish red, a darker brown, this uh, dishwater blonde, and uh, jet black. I think I need to come up with another in-between brown. And then I did the daffodil yellow, like that girl right there, um, with no mixing in it. So it's a very light. Tried to do a whole bunch of different facial features and uh, you know just to give them all some uniqueness like someone that any of the kids may know in their families or in their life. I am still working on a few others. That one needs a second coat of paint for her hair. This guy, he's got what was called a summer cut. And she is almost like a little senorita. She has baby hair, or like the girls today like to say, she has her edges in me. Yeah, I just really try to make them all different, as different as possible. This one, my son says, looks like my nephew with a bald head and full beard. So I thought that was funny. So maybe we'll name him Sean. Or, sorry, we may name him Cedric. Her hair, I wanted to have a different color, but I'm not really liking it. I might have to add some highlights to it. And... Let's see, he is going to have locks, so that's why he's pretty much just skin tone all around. I wanted to have to glue it to his hair. She's going to have a bun, well she has a bun, and I was going to do yarn and make it do up into the bun and wrap around, but I changed my mind after I did the video and I just painted it. The little boys are the easier hair because there's not much. He's got some highlighted curls. He's been kissed by the sun. He's been swimming a lot. This little guy has a, a little man bun. I have to go back and paint that and do the hairline again. But yeah, this was just fun and I just had a good time painting. And her
her face, I messed up on her eyes twice, and when I wiped it, it just made her face look really dirty. So I'll probably have to repaint her face again. Uh, those are some starts of cornrows that I will have to have yarn coming down at the ends. No idea what to do for her, but she's got a cute dress on. Uh, this one has a cute dress. Put some details on it. And this one, I love her with her little puffs. She's just adorable in her little pink dress. I got to paint some bows up there by the bun, by each of the buns, and uh, give her some little cute shoes. I like her hair too. She needs a second coat of it because it's kind of showing through. Uh, sorry about my shakiness with the camera. I was trying to see around the lens viewer. Um, these little boys, I don't know what to do with them yet. Still getting some ideas. He's got a bald head for now. Anyone that has a definite half and half is going to get hair. The ones that have bald hair are probably going to get some type of braids. Yeah, I just had a lot of fun painting these. And, uh, just coming up with different hairstyles and hair colors and clothing options and I can't wait until they're finished hopefully I can get them done by the weekend so that I can put their clear coat on them and then the kids will get a chance to play with them on Monday they've been anxiously awaiting and each day they come in and check the progress to see if they're finished and I ordered some more of the big ones because these are some of the little ones that were left over, and I let them try to paint them, and they were just too difficult. So I ordered the big ladies and the big guys, and hopefully they'll arrive tomorrow, if not Friday, since Thursday's the holiday, and then they'll have a chance to paint the larger people, and they can take it home with them at the end of the summer. I still have these two smaller sizes that I am not going to do right away. And then the shaped ones, I think maybe insects or animals, I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, that made 60 people all together. So 40 of them will get attention and the other 20 will just be on reserve. I had so much fun. You guys gotta try this. Hope everyone has a happy 4th of July. And until next week, stay crafty and creative. Hug the ones you love, and I will see you in your videos.